What is up guys, this is Elijah from 94 Strings here. Today we're going to be doing the second episode in our wonderful Casio CDP-230R series. We're going to be doing it mainly on the tones and rhythms that this piano can use right here, and also the wonderful controls that are found right here. So, let's get started. So first off, um, you're going to notice this piano has a lot of tones and rhythms, so you're going to want to take time to explore those quite extensively. It has over 700 rhythms, I believe, with five available slots for sampling, and also several hundred rhythms, I believe, as well. So first of all, let's start off with the tones. We have about 60 pianos, or s piano versions or so, from everything to electric pianos, bright pianos, grand pianos, all sorts of stuff, so. So. So, the, the possibilities are endless, quite frankly. You can pretty much mix anything you want. This has plenty of tones, I think, for anything. So, um, next, there's also some, like, sections with weird instruments, like music boxes, um, xylophones, glockenspiel, tubular bells, things like that. So, um, there's also organs. So, that's pretty cool. Um, moving on, there's also some awesome guitars, and, um, so, there's like 20 different guitars. I'm just gonna go several of the really cool electric ones, so, like, so, pretty cool stuff. So, as you can see, there's a lot of rhythm, so I'm just gonna set it back to the St. Grand Piano, which is the default setting. It's a very nice grand piano sound, like you would get in any standard grand piano. So, um, next we're going to try out the tones, no, the rhythms, because we've already done all the tones. So the rhythms are pretty cool. Um, the, the start one is synth pop, so it's just kind of a basic drum beat. So, that's pretty cool. Um, next, uh, there's also... There's, there's a lot of them, quite frankly. So we're just going to go over some of the awesome settings that you can find right here. So, let's start it off on, say, a guitar pop. So, first off, there's a start and stop button right here, so. It just starts it off at the beginning of the thing. Um... There's also an intro button, so if you want like a nice intro thing before you do your awesome epic song, so. So that's pretty cool. There's also a variation fill-in button, which basically does variations. So if you want to add a little bit more depth to your thing, you can go like this. Starting to add a little bit more rhythm and stuff, as you can see. Some like double drum echoes and stuff like that in there. So, and then there's also an ending button, so. There's also an ending button for you to do an awesome ending to your song. So that's pretty cool too. I believe there's also a chords button here, so you can turn on chord accompaniments. So basically, I'll start my thing here. You can play any chord like down here. And then it'll start playing an automatic tune in the chord I just played. So that was C, that's D, E, F, G. And then you can do all sorts of weird chords too that will go into all sorts of cool stuff so you can be like. So, it's all pretty cool stuff. So, there you go guys. Hope you enjoyed the tones and rhythms on the Casio CDP piano. Um, we're going to be doing a lot more stuff. Obviously, there's a lot more that we have okay. not uncovered yet in this awesome piano. So, leave a like down below, subscribe, comment, and stay tuned for the next episode.